Hello, home doing well. And in case you missed it, all the ships for PR7 have been announced. So this is in collaboration with World of Warships. All of these ship girls will be added permanently to the game via the priority research feature. So you'll need a certain amount of tech points to unlock them. And then there'll be various stages going along. So it's complete, 1 million EXP, get some blueprints, so on and so forth, stuff like that. You've probably done it before. You even if you can't do them, you'll be able to do the lower level ones and you'll learn how to do it then. Uh, but we have two DRs again and three PRs. So we have Halford, Bayard, Admiral Nakov, Napoli, and Dyson. And overall, not bad designs. I feel like Bayard's probably the weakest of the bunch. She just looks like another French girl. So consistent with her theme. Or, so consistent with her faction, just Nothing too standish, but very pretty still. And I put up a poll in the community section, so if you haven't voted, you can go vote there. Uh, Admiral Nakov is winning hand over foot. Or in her case, uh, foot over hand, as her keeper above her head. But Napoli is second, and then the remaining are kind of bunched together. I really like Halford, because she was an actual ship. Just her plane got taken off and realized, hey, we don't need destroyers with scout planes. We have cruisers and battleships and escort carriers and all kinds of planes to do that. So I want to see how she operates, see how many, what kind of planes she can operate. I saw in-game, we're also going to look at the in-game models as well, that she can has an attack plane, float plane. So we'll see maybe we can uh, get things good there. Yeah, let's start off just looking at Halford. Our first girl up in this conga line list. There she is. The Fletcher class, one of the last ones. Uh, there are three like her. One of three of the float planes that got taken off after about a year. It has uh, the stand has been kind of traditional as our float planes coming out, ghostly as they are. Also, the bear has guns in its hands, so that's pretty cool. Very regal looking. Um, the line. Her rigging so she can do some boozing and cruising. I had a friend who said she looks like she'll be Royal Navy. I would agree, but she looks very similar to Hammond's art. Hammond's attire. But very regal looking for an Eagle Union ship. Like take away the umbrella and you basically have Hammond without the cat ears. More of a coitish face. Uh, we can see she has torpedo mounts on one side, but not the other. When we look at her model in-game, she will only have torpedo mounts on one side, as her rear ones, her aft ones, are taken out. Got some symbols down below her. Got a projector she stand on. So, yeah, pretty neat. There we go. There she is. This is Halford. Butcher Clash CD. She's a tier 8, or tier 9 in-game, sorry. Hole number 480. Gun, there's her one set torpedo tubes. Here are her plane facilities, so pretty cool. Gonna be unique. Only had one other destroyer that can use planes, and she will not be returning as she was a collab ship. So definitely interested in seeing her. What she can do. I hope she has some kind of supporting role. If she has a plane effect like I-13 does, or for I-13 it's when she enters battle, your main fleet does more damage. Maybe it's a buff tied to her airstrikes for Halford here. And that her airstrikes, when they go off, it buffs the main fleet with extra damage or maybe extra accuracy like Sirku. Something like that would be cool. Yeah, definitely interested in seeing what she'll be like. We'll move on to the next girl. So next up is Bayard, very in line with the Irish theming, holy light and being blonde and white robes, and large weapon, very, very nice action going on there, good thighs too, nothing too much to say about her, feels kind of generic, it feels like this could be just another, it feels like she could be a Event shop ship from a French event. That's what, that's what she feels like. So, not a bad design. It's just 
not a whole lot of wow, like, oh, this is something unique. This is something special to PR. I guess people like Monarch really don't do that either. I don't know. Not a bad design. And here she is in World of Warships. French Cruiser. Go. Here, eight. That will be interesting to see. While I do play the game, I am not a high tier player. I don't play very often. Yeah, I'm always interested to see the uh, other factions I don't really pay much attention to. Bad. But interesting secondary placements, but they tend to do that in friendships. Uh, the Rishiulu class, in particular, very interesting. Guns. That is Bayard, our ER7 French representation. Next up is who appears to be the fan favorite of this batch of PR ships, Admiral Nakamov. Uh, definitely got a unique pose. Uh, I think they want to direct our attention to certain areas. An interesting little cat suit. Got a really interesting mech behind her. It almost, if it didn't have this runaway stripes on the mech's head, I would have thought, why is this random cruiser have such a crazy, why does it look like this? Oh, there's some stripes in various spots show, okay, there is runways on this thing. Yeah, it, it could have fooled me it was not an aircraft carrier. It was not an aircraft carrier based on our original alone. But it's very interesting. Uh, I have not used a lot of Russian ships, so she would definitely be the hardest for me to farm. My options are Chakalov, who's at level 70. Uh, I got Soyuz at 25. And then I have most of the Svetskis, at least. So I have some options, but at least she's in the back line. Easier to farm. She will have the... Uh, 1.2 and 2.4 million requirements. You will likely require the Northern, you will require Northern Parliament, or you can use, based off Chakalov, Sardinia, or Italian, and or Eagle Union, which is the American fleet. That's how Chakalov's EXP was. Makes sense. A lot of Russian designs taken from the Italians, and the whole lend -Lease program. Killing the Russians, that survival they needed. Definitely, uh, definitely pretty. Definitely, uh, got some legs and booty action going on there. She's making a hell of a landing. Calm. Uh, someone point out, it does look a bit like Chatterbox, so he is on his redemption arc. He's, uh, going to redeem himself for his past transgressions. So let's go over to World of Warships. She is not, she is not a premium ship like the other ones are. Go. It's actually, the tech tree. There you go. She's got a interesting shaped flight deck there. Otherwise, pretty standard. You got a lot of guns. Notice they are staggered. Thing, but plenty of safety boats if the need arises. Yeah, definitely a unique looking carrier. Their flight deck. So we'll probably have some kind of UR plane for her. As well as Napoli having some kind of UR gun. There we go. There is Admiral Nakamov. Next up is Napoli. Probably my favorite design. I really like the Italian designs. I think the only one I don't really like is Torticelli. That's because she looks like she smells. And it looks like she doesn't wash herself, which is surprising for a submarine as she's in the water. But oh well. Happily looks gorgeous. Face, legs, like Booba. Got the stripes on her rigging. As the Italians did have red stripes, so they did not get bombed. I just little angelic wings behind her. Really like the design. Well, so she rocks and rolls. And she's gonna be the DR. And I don't know who all Italians, one moment. 
So we'll likely have to use Iron Blood and Royal Navy EXP in addition to Sardinia for your options there. As this Sardinia doesn't have too many ships right now. Well, they have a bunch now, but, you know, make it easier. Very, very nice design. Uh, we see, interesting, should probably be the best tank in Sardinia now. Taken away from Pola spot, I guess. I saw you be using Zara and Pola, but yeah, Nap looks really good. I'm excited to see how she performs. Here she is in game. Premium ship. There's the red and white stripes. Paper guns. Her secondaries. Cool. Anti aircraft gun. Very, very good looking ship. Always like the Italian ships. Game in real life, got really nice designs. Always like their bows too. Always got a nice bow shape. Got her amidship float planes. I don't know if that's or not. There we go, Napoli. Our tier 10. The DR. And last but not least, we have Dyson. Not Oyama, as Google Translate would lead me to believe. Uh, nice ship, bro. Her concept art got put up by her artist, so I should have retweeted that. And the Azure Lane official account also retweeted it, so you can go to the JP server. You can go look there. There she is. Yep. Very nice. I expected her to be a little bit chubby, but she was not. She's very slender. Other than certain areas up here. Yeah, nice. Nice, pretty, nice, and wholesome. Sakura design. I feel like she could have passed off of minus the structures on the rigging. But as a Chinese ship, I don't get that kind of impression. Almost like a panda. That's not what her design is. Probably a horse. Actually, it's probably what's exactly what she is. A horse. So yeah, we have uh, we have her horse girls in a Zerlane. There we go. Collab incoming. Very nice. And unfortunately for her, she was a dockyard, which is kind of a grind thing from a couple years ago. So I do have the 3D model to like pan around. But unfortunately, all you get is a static photo. A little sad. Guns. I'm a huge fan of color scheme. So it's PR7. Hope you're excited. And if you're not quite able to unlock them yet, you know, you can kind of figure out who's your favorite. Comment below who's your favorite. And go vote in the community post if you haven't done this already. I share out the news like that there. I should make shorter videos doing that as well. Not everyone sees community posts. And I don't think non-subscribers can actually see those. It recommended too much. So I don't have to see them on my YouTube feed. But I think as uh, you've interacted with the account before. So I should be doing that more. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we should get them soon. Maybe on Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.